Hello, welcome back. Let us see a program, C program, to add two numbers, 10 and 20, and we are going to display the value. So, we have declared two variables here, a, b, of the type integer, and we have stored the values of a as 20, 10 and b as 20. And there is a third variable named sum, which is used to store the result of addition of a and b. The variables a and b as well as sum are of the type of int. Int is a data type. a is of int type. a refers to a memory area in the computer which can hold some values. There is a maximum and minimum limit for the numbers which can be stored. That is 32767 to minus 2 plus. And see, the other variables b and sum are also similarly in this way. Those variables also will refer to some memory locations in the computer system. There are three memory locations used in the program. They are used to store some integer values. The value in the location a is 10, value in the location b is 20 and sum is used to store the result. The variable sum is used to store the values of a plus b or sum assigns the value of a plus b. a is 10, b is 20 and the sum will be having a value of 30 in it. After the process of addition, we have to display the result or print the output in a proper format, format like 10 plus 20 equal to 30. For that, we are using a function printf. Printf is a function in C which can be used to display some string generally but if you want to print some values of a variable then we have to use it in a special way we have to use some control strings if you want to display some value stored in a variable percentage d is the control string used for displaying an integer value the syntax is the one given printf within bracket within quotation percentage d comma a that means the value of a will be replaced with percentage d at the time of printing percentage d will not be printed instead of percentage d the value stored in a will be printed in this printf we will be getting only the value of 10 This is the way which we are using the printf function to display some values. Percentage D is a control string. The value stored in the memory location A, that is 10, will be replaced with percentage D and the value 10 will be printed on the screen. In the printf function given in the program there are three percentage d symbols and after the quotation we have given three variables a b and the sum a will be replaced a will be given the value for the first percentage d and the second percentage d will be replaced with the value of b and the last percentage d will be replaced with the value of sum and you can see the plus and equal to symbols in between the percentage d's those plus and equal to will be considered just as some string. There will not be any calculation done because it is given within a quotation, within a pair of quotation. It is just considered as a string. Whatever things given in this printf that is within the quotation, it is just a string. But these percentage these are control strings 
these control strings will be replaced with the variable values given after the quotation. First one will be replaced with the first variable with its value. Second one with the second one and the third one with the third. Or the first percentage D, instead of that we will be getting a value 10. Then again a plain plus will be printed. Second percentage D will be replaced with the value of B. Then an equal to symbol. The last percentage D will be replaced with the value of sum. This is the way the printf function is used for displaying the values stored within variables. Variables are nothing but memory locations in a computer system. Ok, press Ctrl F9, you will be getting the output 10 plus 20 equal to 30. See that plus and equal to symbols are printed as it is. All the control, uh, so, sorry, all the percentage D's are replaced with corresponding values. First percentage D is replaced with the value of A, second one with B's value, third one is with C's value. Printf is a function for printing some string on the screen and for using the printf we have to include stdio.h press ctrl f9 you can verify the output this is the way to do a simple addition program using c thank you